Welcome. I'd like to talk to you today about pharmacy at RCSI. So why pharmacy? Pharmacists make a difference to people's lives. As medicines experts, they're involved wherever medicines are involved. So from the design and development of medicines through to patient care, um, whether it be in the primary setting or in the secondary setting, then pharmacists are involved. So what makes it a nice career? Well, pharmacy is a really rewarding career because it's about health. So it's very worthy, it's about optimizing health. It's also an exciting career choice because there's so many options. It's also a profession that's trusted by the public. And in many surveys, we find that pharmacists are up there near the top of the list of the most trusted professions. And because medicines are always changing, pharmacy changes. So it's a really innovative profession. Lots of opportunities come with pharmacy. So it's a great profession if you want to stay in Ireland because um, it's well respected and there are plenty of opportunities. But also you can travel the world with pharmacy. So whether you want to stay here or you want to go abroad, pharmacy is a fantastic you can uh, generalize or you can specialize, you can change different uh, sectors, you can do um, a whole range of options throughout your career. No matter what, pharmacists are in great demand, however, and um, I've never known there to be pharmacists who have not been in employment. So what do pharmacists actually do? Most of our pharmacists do go into community practice, so they work in primary care, that role is also expanding. So from the supply of medicines and advice and minor ailments, pharmacists are now becoming increasingly involved in health promotion. They're looking after screening, they're giving vaccinations. And I think this year more than ever, we've really realized that pharmacists in primary care are really important um, for the health of our population. Within the hospital field, pharmacists are involved throughout all stages of the journey of the medicine, from procuring that medicine, giving advice about it to other healthcare professionals, being up in the wards and working within teams, uh, compounding uh, medicines, um, so all sorts of different uh, pathways within hospital. In industry, again, wherever there's a medicine, there's a pharmacist. So production, quality assurance, regulatory affairs, advice, um, anywhere where there's a medicine there's a pharmacist too and that expands to all sorts of different careers so in academia research journalism merging roles within gp practices within governance and medicine safety um, there are pharmacists uh, working in this country So here in the school, we opened in 2002. We were one of the first uh, new schools to open. And more recently, there have been uh, changes with the merger with our molecular and cellular therapeutics to create a school of pharmacy and biomolecular sciences. This is synergized growth. So we have a huge uh, range of really talented people to actually um, uh, run the school now and uh, provide the education and research opportunities. Lots of opportunities for PhDs and master's students. And because of this synergy, we were delighted to be awarded an HEA grant of 7.8 million this year. So that's going to bring about new opportunities for lots of bespoke programs. We educate across all the programs in RCSI, but our flagship is obviously our Masters in Pharmacy. The Pharmacy program is a five-year fully integrated program. Graduate at the end of fourth year with bachelors in uh, science, um, but the qualification that's required for practice in this country and therefore the EU, um, as well as a master's qualification. And that is available for people that successfully complete the fifth year of the programme and uh, go on then to register with the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland. That allows you to practice anywhere in the EU and also as a qualification that is appropriate for taking additional licensing exams in other places in Ireland. So why study pharmacy at RCSI? 
we are really passionate about what we do and we pride ourselves on the quality of our teaching and learning and um, whenever they undertook the pair study which was the pharmacy education and accreditation review study we were ranked highest um, across all bar one metric um, uh, in, in that study so we really have an evidence base to say that we are absolutely um, uh, at the forefront of teaching and learning. We were also chosen to design and develop the National Pharmacy Internship Programme, which ran from 2009 to 2019, until the integrated programme uh, came on stream. RCSI is a home to APEL, which is the affiliation of pharmacy practice um, and experiential learning, and also the Irish Institute of Pharmacy. So currently we're providing pharmacy education from first days of undergraduate right through to lifelong learning. Fully accredited by the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland, delighted this year that we were um, uh, given full accreditation for the maximum amount of time um, and the recognition there of our outstanding research reputation and our world class. One of the key features is our innovative and adaptive integrated curriculum. Uh, this curriculum was designed with students and the reviews of the curriculum will be undertaken with students and patients. And the aim of this programme is to provide an outstanding student experience that supports you to become a leader in healthcare provision. And we embed employability into it so that no matter what sector of the profession, your choice is to go in, you'll be well prepared to not only engage in it, but to lead it in the future. An outline of the programme in year one, we begin by integrating through uh, people, pharmacists and medicines and start some systems based um, education in the second semester. You get a chance to experience what it's like to be in community, industry and hospital pharmacy for some Years two and three are systems based and uh, the opportunities for experiential learning are unique to RCSI. In second year, it's a longitudinal community practice placement and in third year, an opportunity to experience what it's like in our clinical sites. In year four, there is a block of experiential learning that allows you the opportunity to go um, in any direction really uh, in terms of the sectors of pharmacy um, and also then choices of options and research modules. Year five back on campus with us to do some advanced um, uh, teaching and learning and uh, an eight month patient facing placement to finish uh, and prepare for the professional registration examination. So our curriculum design was commended by the PSI for being evidence informed and what we're really um, uh, proud of really is how much that we have involved others in the design of that curriculum, particularly students in partnership and patients in partnership with curriculum design. It was students that told us that they have a preference for case-based learning, they really wanted some options to try some different things and they wanted research and travel options. And the PSI did commend us on the range of research options available for students. When we involved patients in our curriculum design, they wanted us to make sure that we embedded mental health throughout and advocated for mental health first aid, which again, unique to RCSI, is available to all undergraduate students. In RCSI, we're proud of our clinical focus. We do prepare for all sectors, but it is known as a very applied and clinically focused degree. In terms of the teaching and learning, what's fantastic is that you're learning alongside other healthcare professionals. So we've got an opportunity for good interprofessional um, uh, learning and also to learn directly from patients in the public, which we are promoting at all times. We use innovative teaching and learning methods with big focus on small groups and uh, obviously technology enhanced learning which we're using lots more of um, as time goes on and getting very upskilled in that and our advanced simulation. We have fantastic simulation facilities at RCSI, state of the art 
as commended by the PSI. This allows you to practice in a safe environment before moving into clinical settings. We support you on the journey. The school was commended for this, for our commitment for extensive pastoral support, and we offer you a real warm welcome here in RCSI. The opportunity for extensive engagement, we provide you with an academic tutor who will be with you throughout your journey, and everybody would like you to be asking questions and always seeking help, and it's there for those who ask, absolutely. We also offer within RCSI extended opportunities such as Buddy Scheme, Student Welfare Office, Students Union, and all range of health and wellbeing supports. But it's easy for me to say that the best people to ask are our students, and I give you an opportunity to read the testimonials here from Jodie and Laura. And I'm really happy that Jodie's called out that you need to ask help and don't be afraid to do that we're here to listen and that Laura has uh, uh, you know put into the balance there that it is a challenging program no doubt about it but you need to balance that with finding opportunities to enjoy yourself and have fun our graduates too those that have gone through the program and have been able to reflect back we're super proud of Emil um, has has got a really exciting job now in the Health Professions Regulatory Authority, having spent some time in clinical practice. And Fatma is now the Pharmacy Director of the Communicable Disease Centre in Qatar. Um, and both of them have found that their journey through RCSI has prepared them for their future leadership roles. So you'll be wondering, I suppose, if pharmacy might be right for you. And I would say give it serious thought if you're in a space where you'd like to improve people's health because pharmacy is about optimizing health it's also potentially right for you if you enjoy science because we are evidence-based and science is a foundation typically pharmacists are very good at paying attention to detail no matter what sector of the profession they're in it's an underlying theme so if you like to do things right pharmacy could be a very good choice for you and I think with all things now, we need to think about communication skills and good communication skills will see you a long way down the journey of helping people um, to better health. So that's all for me for now, but there's always opportunities to ask questions and the details are there with respect to our admissions office. And I'll take the opportunity now to say thank you for listening. And no matter what you do, I wish you all the very best.